So a year ago was my first experience with fresh hop beers. That is beers made with hops that are fresh from the fields, that are not killed, <clears throat> that are not killed in preparation for any sort of storage, that are used right away, like within a day or two of being harvested. And one of my favorite beers from last year, from this time, was Fremont Brewing's Field to Ferment, Field to Ferment Fresh Hop Pale Ale. That's not an India Pale Ale, that is just a pale ale. And I had it several times on tap and in growlers, um, but I don't believe I had a can of it. Well, this year, when I was visiting Spud's Market down in Tumwater, um, what did I see on the shelves but more of my favorite? So one of the things, or a few of the things, that I appreciated about the Fremont Brewing's Field to Ferment Fresh Hot Pale Ale was a very nice floral character, a light biscuity malt that balanced it out, and just an overall very refreshing, very pleasant and enjoyable beer for this season. I felt that the fresh hops produced a more nuanced and delicate hop aroma and hop flavor in the beer in general. If you think about how a fresh hop might differ, think about a dried flower versus a fresh flower of the same from the same plant. That's really the difference. Hops are essentially flowers that, are, that have to be dried very quickly, kilned, baked in a specialized oven in order to preserve them if you're going to use them any longer than a few days after you harvest. Because like flowers, they're going to oxidize and, and just lose a lot of their really beautiful flavors very quickly. Um, and I felt that of the various uh, pale, fresh hop beers I tried last year, Field to Ferment did a particularly good job of highlighting that, um, that just really beautiful floral and delicate character. So that's a, uh, my, my memory's not perfect, but I, I'm just really excited to try this one again because, well, I'm pretty darn sure I'm going to enjoy it, but it'll be interesting to see to me um, how much it's changed or how different it is or how much I remember it as being the same. And really the difference between the can version and the, um, the tap version. So there is very nice just floral aromas to this. Yes, I did just take a drink. Sorry, I'm a little bit off kilter. Um, yeah, whatever. I had to do three or four tries for the intro here. I'm review, uh, recording in a small little corner of a pile of boxes here because um, we're still unpacking. You know, life is what it is here, moving into a new place. But uh, so there's uh, grapefruit to the nose, but it's a light grapefruit. Like it, it's not distant grapefruit, <clears throat> but it maybe stops a step shy of the full grapefruit experience. Just that really nice kind of um, the, the grapefruit side of citrus aroma. And it's really consistent, like it's there through the whole nose. Yeah, it smells really nice. Mm. Sweet almost. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, okay, so once again, uh, grapefruit in the taste as well. Grapefruit to the tongue. So it's consistent. It tastes like it smells. Um, <clears throat> the, it's kind of this really nice burst of juicy grapefruit at the beginning. And then uh, this little um, like mild orange juice sweetness that kind of sneaks in. And then you're left with just this um, a little bit of a cracker malt. And then... Uh, this really nice like bushy West Coast IPA kind of finish, but it's it's light, right? It's all it's all dialed down from the full on IPA, just for a quick refresher. Pale ales are what India pale ales are derived from, and India pale ale just takes the hops and turns it up to eleven. So a pale ale should be stepped back from that, um, and then on top of that, just generally lighter hop character, you have the more the fresher, uh, more uh, verdant, uh, more alive flavors of the fresh hop in this. Yeah, it's just a beautiful beer. I would say <clears throat> the malt character 
could be a little bit stronger. It does feel as though the middle is perhaps hollow. Not, not lacking, per se. I just feel like maybe there's a, a breadiness or a, a saltiness that I think would really fill out the middle a little bit more um, where the sweetness is. Because the sweetness is a bit thin, and then it fades to that really quick, just kind of cracker dry finish, and then the just the kind of hop bushiness that finishes. Um, and it feels like the middle could be a little more full, but it's still, it's a delicious beer. What you do taste is delicious. And I think it's a really interesting way to see how a fresh hop can bring its particular and unique characteristics to a very well-crafted beer. So this has been me, Matthew, enjoying Fremont Beer Brewing's Field to Ferment Fresh Hop Pale Ale for the second year, this time in cans. It comes in cans. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.